So our first step in achieving our victory rolls is to really get the hair texture prepared and ready. So first thing I'd recommend is actually don't do this on for freshly washed hair. Um, having a bit of a few of the nash, nice natural oils in our hair is really going to help this style stick. Um, and I have very fine hair and this really, really is essential for anyone that has hair type similar to mine. Um, I'm gonna help the process even more by adding some dry shampoo. So use whatever brand you want. Um, we're gonna be working a lot around um, the hairline today. So that's what I'm going to um, put this. So now we've got our texture prepared, the second step is to create sections of hair. Um, now I'm going to do two victory rolls and they're going to be off-centre, so we need an off-centre parting. Um, so I'm just going to put one in, about here, not too deep. And we'll just smooth everything out. Next we're going to take two strips on either side um, and the amount of hair that you want to include in these will vary depending on how thick your hair is. As I say mine's quite fine so I'll take a relatively big um, sort of chunk, I think I'll probably usually go about I guess three inches back from my parting and drawing a line straight down to my ear and just sort of pulling that section away. Once you've got your section, just going to tie it out the way for now. I'll do the same on this side and find that line and continue it. Um, now for the rest remaining at the back, I'm just going to comb it back. and I'm just going to secure it in the centre. We will come back to that later. So now we've got our hair in three nice sections. The next step is to do some back combing to create the basis for our rolls at the front. Now, we don't need to be too afraid of back combing because there's back combing that we see in the movies like this, going up and down like that quite furiously. Um, and then there's back combing that you can do um, in a little bit more safer fashion that's a lot better for your hair and um, isn't going to create, hopefully, a lot of damage um, if we are careful. Um, so firstly, we'll release one of the sections at the front and we're going to section the section. So I'll take a small bit, starting from the back, just using the end of my brush here to um, grab quite a thin section of hair and I'm going to pull it away from my face like so sort of at a diagonal angle. And then I'm going to start backcombing the section. And we only really need to create a backcombing um, base of perhaps about two inches. So we don't need to backcomb the whole length of the hair, this bit's all gonna be fine. Um, we'll just create some texture at the root. And what we're gonna do for some safe backcombing is we're going to put the brush in, pull down to the root, and out again. In, down to the root, out. So none of this sort of back, up and down, backwards and forwards thing. We're going in, pulling it down and you can see that we've started to create um, quite a, a, a knotted section that will, that's what we want, we want to create some stability that the hair can stick to. And we're kind of moving the brush in um, a C shape, in, down, out. Let's see if I can turn around and show you, in, down, out, just like that. Great. And we'll just carry on like that in these small, perhaps about a centimetre section. So we'll probably do about three or four sections on each side. And this is what it'll look like when you've done one side. I'm going to just do exactly the same thing on the other side now. So when we're done back combing both sides, we're going to look a little bit crazy, not gonna lie, but don't worry about it, it will get better. <laughs> So the next step after our back combing is um, we're going to take our same back combing smoothing brush um, and start working on one side. We're going to just very gently smooth just the surface hair, so I'm not going to be undoing all that lovely back comb we've just done, um, but I just want it a little bit smoother just on the surface because this is what people, you know, it's going to be visible. I'm also going to take some hairspray, uh, whichever brand 
um, you like. And just apply a little bit of this just to smooth down some of the strays. Great, so now that we've done some smoothing, we can start rolling. How exciting. Um, so what we're going to do is continue pulling our hair away from our face in a similar angle um, that we did while back combing. Um, and we're going to get to the ends of our hair and create a loop. And then walk that loop down our hair to our scalp. Now it's going to be difficult for you to see because my hair is very long. But I'm creating a loop, tucking those ends in as I go. The goal is to try and also keep the hair taut as well, that really helps. Rolling it down, requires a bit of arm coordination. Oh, and when we get a tufty bit that sticks out, just rolling that in. Great, and now I've reached the uh, my scalp. As you can see, I'm sort of facing the roll forward. What I'm going to do is turn it so that it lays flat against my head, like so allowing this part here to be a little sort of poofy roll. Keeping my fingers inside the roll, securely on my head, I'm now going to pin it so I can remove my fingers. Just with a hairpin, close to my scalp as possible. I'm going to take my fingers out, just check that I'm happy with the shape. You can always redo it, do it, you know, roll it as many times as you want until you're happy. Um, no one's watching, there's no competition or prizes for if you do it the first time. Um, and what, but once you are happy with it, do uh, use a couple more pins and just secure that. I probably use about three pins usually per roll. Um, just to secure it. You don't need loads and loads. Um, really that back combing is what's created this really nice base and those pins are like anchoring our roll into it. Uh, just to finish this side off we're going to take some spray again. Give it a little spray. Take our nice smoothing brush, back combing brush. I'm just taking the side of it. I'm not sort of sticking it in, don't want to spoil all the work we've done. Just give it a smooth round. Those flyaways. Little final spritz. And there we have one side done. And so on this side I'll show you another technique to roll that I use because as you've seen my hair is very long. Um, you don't necessarily need to go right to the ends to create a loop. Some people might find that easier. Um, but again, because mine's really long, I tend to get, I get my two fingers, put them through the hair, and then use it kind of like as a roller and roll my hair around it, like so. It's a little bit more of a faff, this version. So if your hair is long enough to just create a loop and roll it like normal, go with that. Um, but then once I've rolled it around my fingers, um, I can then walk that roll, take, try and take my fingers out, <laughs> um, and then walk that roll again, similar to um, the other technique. But I find that a bit easier just so that I'm not stretching to reach the ends of my hair. Once you've got it near to your head, again, um, we want to turn that roll um, down and rotate it towards the scalp. Then we'll take a pin and secure it. So just give it a little check in the mirror, check you're happy with how the rolls sit in relation to one another. I really like this asymmetrical look, um, I think it suits my face shape. If you'd rather send apart and do um, symmetrical ones, it can almost like, look like a love heart, it's very cute, um, go with that. Um, I like this better for myself, but, um, and always uh, finishing off with a little bit of hairspray. Uh, a tip here, if we hold the hairspray not too close to the style or else it can um, set really hard. Um, and look a bit sort of caked on. 
and again taking just the side of the brush and smoothing that spray. So there we have our lovely victory rolls. Now we've got a third section of hair at the back. Um, some options here, you could put it in a ponytail on the side of your neck, having it down over your chest with perhaps a flower detail here. You could put it in a little bun um, at the back. I like to use these little things which are bows with little snood uh, cases that I can just roll my hair into. I love this for dancing because I don't like any, I don't like to feel up my shoulders um, getting kind of sweaty. Um, I like it sort of to feel like it's out of the way. So I'm gonna put one of these in. So here's the finished look. Victory rolls, yay! And from the back. So often when I'm out at um, Lindy events, I'm asked, how do you get it to stay like that? And I usually say as a joke, with positive thought, but now you know that it's also a lot of back combing and hairspray and a few cheeky pins uh, stuck in there as well. So give it a go. Um, it took me quite a while to kind of perfect this and not saying it's perfect by any means, but it took me a while to, to get it to work. But um, I'm sure with a bit of practice, you can too. Thanks.